हेलो व्यूवर्स माय नेम इज खुशम एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस इज आवर टारगेट ऐप दिस वीडियो इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ टैब ले आउट विद द स्वैप एक्टिविटी इफ यू डोंट वॉच माय फर्स्ट पार्ट वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर ओनली एबल टू एड द टैब ले आउट सेक्शन बिकॉज द शॉर्टेज ऑफ टाइम सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन कंप्लीट दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो स्टार्ट विद द कोड After adding toolbar into activity main dot xml file, go go into the main activity dot java file and get xml resource into java. That's why I'm assigning two variable. One is toolbar and second one is tab layout. Tab layout. and get the resource that's why i am using find by id find by id r dot id give the id app here i am taking toolbar resource cast into toolbar and also get the resource of tab layout here set support action because of this method we clearly see the toolbar into our screen if you don't know how to use set support action bar then go go and check my custom toolbar video here i taking tab layout resource file and my target is adding element in the toolbar sorry in tab layout so that's why i'm going to create one adapter this adapter responsibility to set a element into tab layout create of java file and give the name i am giving simple fragment pager adapter click okay and extend fragment pager adapter import method click okay and also import import a constructor click okay and i want to pass one more thing context and also i am going to override one more method get get page title and give the tab title what you want to see top of the tab so that's why i'm creating a string if you want to create a string into a string.xml file then go and create because this is the ideal way but i'm not i'm not going to do this thing this thing here assign context variable assign context variable into constructor this dot context equal to context fragment pager adapter is responsible for adding element into the tab layout at this moment if you want to test your app you may see your tab contain your contain the element but you not be able to swap this tab but you are able to scroll this tab because because i am set a scroll tab into the activity main dot xml file so because the swap tab swap activity i am going to create a view pager and give the with height id and 
location where it located view pager is totally responsible for your fragment or activity what you want to use here i'm using fragment give give the all detail and see your view pager is located below the tab layout go to the main active main activity dot java file and get the resource of xml file into the java okay view pager equals to find view by id r dot id dot view pager cast into view pager and set the tab layout tab layout dot set with the view pager set up with the view pager and pass pass the view pager parameter pass this this page is totally responsible for how how your fragment is looks like when your fragment is looks like and your view pager is showing on the instruction of this fragment pager so you have to create a fragment and create this fragment object into the simple fragment adapter so i'm going to show you how to do this thing first you create your create a one java file if you don't know how to create a fragment this is very simple see this is same thing you can do with your project for the fragment you create a one java class and one xml file first create i'm creating fragment demo and extend fragment and override the on create view method and then create a xml file these two file is helps to create your fragment if you know how to create a fragment then you understand very well there are there are different many way to create a fragment give the file file name and root element and click next and you see this is a separate plain xml file go to the text part i'm adding a one text here go to the end of i'm going to drag and drop drop because i not want to write anything because this is very very lengthy work this is a fragment and then go to the main activity dot xml here i'm going to create a object for the fragment because this fragment is swap every time when you when you click a tab or swap a or swap a activity when you click a tab this fragment is so when you swap a activity this is this fragment is so this is a very funny thing but for the demo demo part this is this is good for you uh, 
and first you inflate inflate the XML file into your fragment class in that's why I'm using inflator dot inflate inflate and dot inflate and pass the parameter and give the file name r dot l layout dot fragment demo in my case and give container and false there are a lot of history in this method so please go and search on the google how to inflate or work first uh, private page page count how many page you want to appear on your app in your uh, in your uh, app sorry guys my english is weak so i'm not speak very well and it uh, is under tab title position tab title is your head, heading of heading of your all tab and return the page count page count is 10 I think I'm done in I'm done all the job with the fragment page direct fragment page and uh, and set the adapter view page dot set adapter new simple fragment page adapter and pass two parameter one is your fragment manager fragment manager is, is responsible for all the fragment which are showing on the activity your main activity or any activity get support fragment manager and pa pass the constructs Here I'm done with the setting adapter. One more thing I'm, I'm gonna do. Go into the activity dot main, activity main dot XML file and set indicator color tab indicator color because if you select any tab or swap swap your active fragment your indicator will showing you and run this app and click ok i'm using my physical device here is your final app building gradle gradle building running and here you see your everything is works fine but text color is looking black if you want to change your text color then 
go to my android playlist and search for the toolbar color where i explain variable about color text color if you like my video please go below hit the like button give your thought into comment boxes and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching